Hey guys, welcome back to Mafia 2. I don't think there's ever been so much demand in a video game on this channel, like a story video game, ever since Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, there was so much demand for that game, and that game was so popular here on the channel for a Let's Play that I really miss it. Like, I honestly feel like I could experience it all over again. But playing Mafia 2 makes me feel like I'm just going through that phase all over again with you guys. And there's just been so much demand here on the channel and so many positive just vibes and just comments and so many likes and just overall a big need for this video game here on the channel and i'm just really really happy to be able to upload this today i'm extremely busy today and i was gonna skip it but i know a lot of you are enjoying it so i'm gonna do at least one chapter because i want to try and do every single day mafia 2 until we finish the entire story that is my ultimate goal i'm gonna try my very very hardest to do that now Previously, Vito went to jail. We went to prison. Jail and prison are kind of different, but going to prison was actually really interesting. It was probably the most interesting chapter in the entire story so far because I feel like Vito and us as well as a viewer and as a player, we learned more about the mafia than we did outside of prison. Not only that, but we were also part of some really kick-ass boxing matches and we also met Leo, which uh, I feel like he serves as a mentor, as a father figure for Vito because of course, he didn't really have much of a father according to him but uh really really cool he taught us a lot about the mafia and how the family that we were trying to get into that we were going to get into were pretty much just doing us wrong they were charging us five thousand dollars and normally when you get into a family you don't get charged you just either get in or you don't i feel like there's going to be some conflict between his family and the family that we were kind of working for so now that leo's out of prison it's going to be really interesting to see how that goes and of course he said once he was out of prison he was going to try and see what he can do for us so we can get out earlier so meaning i don't think we're going to serve the 10 years and uh that's pretty much where we're at right now so yeah i'm super excited thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoy sit back relax and uh let's do this chapter seven in loving memory of francesco pontenza galante wasn't lying he called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early knocked almost four years off my sentence wow so we served about six now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Hmm, interesting. I might meet some of the parts here of this playthrough in case we get some copyright strikes going. But uh, look at Vito, free and ready to go. <laughs> Catch up with Joe. Oh, this is awesome. Now, obviously, 10 years, about seven years or six years does make a big difference in the outside world. Before I go with Joe, I'm going to look at the map. Um, I don't know if he's still living in the same place, but some of you told me that if we go to our mom's house, we get some sort of like secret cutscene. I just don't really remember where the heck that is. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Joe's. Take a look at how good this game looks. Ah, this looks awesome. Okay, so Joe's over here. I think he's in here maybe barbershop what? oh no this is his apartment dude isn't this joe's apartment isn't it like through here yeah let me see if my car's still there in the garage yeah this is it for 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 a second there i didn't really recognize the place and our beat up car is still here <laughs> but uh before i go to joe's i'm gonna see if i can go to my uh if I can go to my mother's and see if we get the secret cutscene. I think it was around here. Sorry, guys. Wasn't it here? It was here, right? Huh. Hold on. I read it in the comments. Yes, I do read comments. So if you guys want to be nice to me and uh, boost my ego, please feel free to comment down below something nice. Just kidding. Let's see if this works before we even go to... Oh, shoot. It works. Yeah. Uh, look, whatever you're selling, pal, I ain't interested. No, 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 no. My name's Vito Scaletta. I'm looking for... Oh, right. Francesca's brother. <laughs> she told me you were in jail. I'm out now. And you are? Francesca's husband, Eric. Your sister ain't here. She uh, must be out shopping or something. I'll uh, tell her you stop by. See ya. Yeah, uh... That guy wasn't married to my sister, Maron. What?
He must not know who I am. He must not know that I'm involved with some really dangerous people that I'd probably kick his ass. Wow. Something that I also notice is like some of the cars are different too. Like, not most of them, but some like a lot of them are the same. But I don't. Maybe maybe it's just me. Never mind. I don't know. I saw some like newer looking cars, and it's probably totally just me. Yeah, I've got to be careful. There's a cop right around the corner. Anyways, really cool and short little cutscene. That was cool. We know that uh, my sister's uh, husband is a total prick. Duly noted. Rest assured, he will get his ass whooping. I think a fly flew in my mouth. Disgusting. All right, let's go. Oh. What the heck? Joe, what are you doing, man? God damn. <laughs> By the way, this guy's lived like 30% of his life behind bars or in the army, just so you guys know. At least on the playthrough, it's been like that. Hey, hey you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much. But I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> always comes in handy. What happened to so, the people uh, that we met? do now that you're a free man? Ten That's years ago. I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. A much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't Ooh. exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. Yeah, I, I feel like this guy is definitely... Well, take uh... my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. Yeah, see. I was the right. The place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. I was, I was right. And, and, it's not snowing anymore. So, that's what was different about this place. That's why I didn't recognize it. I was like, wait a minute. Mm, something's off. Oh, dude, let's go. Shit. <laughs> oh, Damn, this is it's too smooth. To I'd done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So wow. what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when we visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't going to tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Wow. So I was right about the cars. The only thing that kind of threw me off was just the weather was different, which is amazing. Ah, oh, this is so cool. And we're going to a brand new place. We got our own spot, our own joint. Her very own Vito apartment. Hell yeah. Let's just get the Apple Speedway. Oh, what? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I'm I'm really driving like an asshole right now. It's just my nose itches and I'm trying to trying to get the, what the itch, fuck but are you doing? what's up your ass today? Alright, here we go. Welcome to my new apartment. Right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Is it here? Oh, your current vehicle cannot enter the garage. So that's my garage. Check out the apartment. Is it through here? Oh, this is nice. 
Very, very nice. Okay, that's not my last name or my first name. So I'm assuming it's upstairs. She did say it was a top floor, so... Perhaps we do have a nice little view to the... Okay, oh. here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra <laughs> charge. Hey. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Modern boy, you better oughta shut your trap. Okay, and here wooden is the floors. master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. <laughs> and it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. Let me tell I you. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? <laughs> now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Got dressed into a suit. Oh, shit. Dude, this is sick, bro. I hear rumors, especially from you guys, that they're going to remaster this. I kind of feel bad because it's like, damn, what if I play the remastered version and you guys don't see it because you already saw me play this one. Hopefully, you guys will check me out when I play the remaster as well. Let's see what this guy does. Huh, smoking on the job, I see. So, I'm realtor you are. Anyhow. Let's get out of here. Listen, if you've ever wanted a friend, Joe is definitely a good friend. He's been hooking us up. And I still got this trash. <laughs> Not anymore, I don't. I'm going to go ahead and pick lock this bad boy up. There's a cop right in front of me. There we go. She's ours now. Hell yeah. This is my car now, damn it. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, change it to something nice. It's time to meet uh, a new mob family, if you will. I'm gonna park it up right here. I gotta drive like I, uh, like I would drive in real life, because I don't want to mess this car up. Okay, here we go. Well, hello there, ma'am. My you why? Hello. How can I help you today? Help me pick out a soup, please. If you like what you see, let me know. Red. Leather jacket. Casual suit and raincoat. Hmm. We have 200 bucks, so we could... Huh. Perfect fit. Wait. Oh. Oh. Damn, we're looking mobster. I like this. <laughs> Swagger over 300,000, baby. We really do look pretty damn gangster right now. <laughs> brand new car, brand new clothes, right out of prison. God damn, I wish life was this easy, huh? Oh, damn. I just took a red light. A cop doesn't see that. Only in video games can you take a red light in front of a cop and get away with it. <clears throat> oh, man. This is so great. Oh, I think we're here. I think it's right around the corner. I was reading some of your comments and you told me uh, some of you guys are telling me that you watch this series because it's like relaxing and I and I totally get it. The whole atmosphere of this whole game is just one of those games where you just kind of sit back and relax. And just that's how I feel when I watch a mafia movie. Of course, it's a little bit more intense, but the whole atmosphere is just very chill. In a really weird way, because there's a lot of tension there always, you know. Anyhow. See what this guy says now. I'm a real gangster now. <laughs> Ooh, Jeez, look. I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. Damn, Vito. A friend of mine's coming to pick this up. 
I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, <laughs> what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. I'll tell him in the car. Ooh. So who's driving? Not me, right? Or am I driving? Oh shit, I am driving. All right, let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Oh, this is a Class A car. So normally I would cut the driving. If it's too long, I will, but Okay, so Vito, I think I'm gonna leave what this. was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Oh, cat snap. House, huh? <laughs> wow. Strip club. Boy, you don't sound too excited, Vito. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and boots? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? What do you got, an aversion to red lights? So... I guess we're gonna go to the strip club, which is honestly probably the best gift. Right out of jail, right out of prison. This man has not seen it in a while. I'm sorry, boys. Uh, it's been about seven years since I've uh, driven a car. May uh, have to excuse me there. Welcome to the Arden Eden. Garden Eden. Arden. Garden Eden. I may have to mute some of the music here. Hopefully, I don't get demonetized, but. Uh, this is not good. They're going to have to answer for their sins soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real oh, stand-up guy. Leo. He told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But oh. between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reason. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man. And, uh, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Like I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, what a game this is. So oh Peter, Lord. Listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Hmm. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his. We'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. This Here's seems a little bit guys. more of an easy... Right. And to a bright future together. I don't know, I feel Touching like... Down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. It feels like the last family was a bit of, uh, a little bit like all over the place. This one is just more straight to the point. Listen, uh, you're a friend of uh, Joe's... Why don't you come and join the family and uh, get into some of these gangster activities that we like to do? And, uh, yeah. Talk about a horse's ass. Really? Carlo's a real smart guy. He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy. <laughs> Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. Shut your goddamn <laughs> eye hole. 
If you want to oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Uh, hey, get up, hey, Joe. I'm going home. Good night, you whores. I thought we were going to get in some sort of altercation and just. Hey, where the hell is my car? <laughs> Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah. Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poops. <laughs> Um, are you guys getting in or what? Holy cow. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just says each in the shower, man. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk. Holy cow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. You like that drift? <sighs> yeah, I know you, you shovel? do. Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. Drive all to the we clear. need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Look at that. A little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? Hmm. God, I need some fresh air. What a crazy this turn of events. Here is fucking killing me. That is a crazy turn of events. Come back from prison. Me and my sister's uh, deadbeat husband. Me and my best friend go to go to a nice little gentleman's club and uh, then oh, bury a body. Now, I'm ah. gonna hurl. All right. I wonder what happened to the other family, the other mob uh, family that we're dealing with. As I was trying to say in the strip club. <laughs> Everything about them fell oh, off. Christ, it's completely Eddie, different than that, that fucking reeks. Than what oh, we're dealing with hey, now. Yeah, but that smell plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. I feel like I could be wrong. I feel like there's going to be conflict between families, especially the first family and the one that we're in now. I, I could be wrong, but I, I, I sense that. I sense the tension brewing. All right, here we go. Should be close enough. We've never been up here, by the way. This is this is like the uh, the nice little area. <gasps> that was a cop, dude. If I would have ran into that cop, holy cow! How far are we, by the way? Oh, we're almost there. Woo! Damn, son. Not through here. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is definitely uh, uncharted territory here. 
All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> no. God damn it, new shoes. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <clears throat> ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. What the hell? <laughs> Finally, done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here either. Fine, whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be good part of your homecoming good party, good but it's night, nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. <clears throat> All right, well. Where's the... Well, if that's not suspicious, I don't know what the heck is. Dear Lord, here we go. Take the drunk, the drunks back to Joe's. Oh my God. You guys kidding me with this? Oh my God, poor Dino. <laughs> All right, so I guess we just go back to Joe's and end the chapter here. This is really interesting. I wonder what's going to happen next. I mean, from here, what happens after this? You know? Here we go. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Chapter 8. The Wild Ones. <sighs> what the fuck? Hey, Vito. Rise and shine. Jesus. <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. And stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, so guys, uh, this is it. We're going to end it here. We will continue on the next episode on Chapter 8, The Wild Ones, which uh, sounds pretty wild. That was awesome. That was honestly an awesome episode. The story of this game is, it really feels like you're watching like a mafia-type movie, and... Uh, I am such a big fan of this game right now, and I want to thank you for those of you that keep coming back and uh, just overall being positive here on the channel. really appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys on the next episode. Catch you later.